Hello guys, now we'll see how to upload the program in your robot by using the Arduino IDE software. So guys, in the last session we had done the downloading and installation of the Arduino IDE software. Now we'll see how to write a program and how to upload it, it in your robot. So for that guys, uh, we can see a desktop icon there of Arduino IDE there. So you have to click on the icon. Once you click on that icon, you will get a new window. A new window will pop up saying that your software showing your software sorry so once it is done then we can start writing your program so guys in the software as you can see there are two categories there one is void setup and one is void loop so basically void setup guys is used for uh, to set up the pins the arduino pins which will be using on the arduino so you have to set up the pins there and you have to give them the mode so that is the reason the command which is given there is a pin mode. So yeah, that is when you uh, cut the sentence that you cut the command into two equal parts that is pin and mode it gives you that you have to specify the pin number first and then you have to select which mode it should work in. So basically it is pin mode command to set up the pins. So now we will see the how to set up the pins here. So the pin number which we are using of the Arduino is 2, 3 uh, as your input pins, 8, 9, 10 and 11 as your output pins so once you have finished with the setup then we have to go to the void loop so basically guys void loop is nothing but a second category in your arduino id software where you have to write a program only once so that it can run again and again so that command void loop itself gives you the functionality of repeating the program again and again in other case you have to write the program only once and that function will help you to run the program or to repeat the program so now as you can see here i have initialized the sensors here saying that my left sensor and right sensor it is a digital read command so digital read will give you an option uh, like to read the values from the sensor or to, the, to take the values from the sensor once the uh, output is being detected you have to read the values and send it to the Arduino you know. so basically you have to give the command saying that first you read the value and then give it to the Arduino and now we are giving a write command there so now we have given the command as digital write digital write means the, the signal which is sent from the Arduino to your motors so basically we have connected the sensors to the pin number 2 and 3 and motors to the pin number 8, 9, 10 and 11. So we are, we are taking the signals from the sensor and we are giving signal to the motors here. So now I am writing, there will be conditions now guys. So uh, like if basically for a line for a robot there will be four conditions there if your left sensor falls on a black line or your right sensor falls on a black line if both are on a black line or if both are on a white surface so what is what will be the basically your output will be so depends on the uh, conditions your motor will give you the output and those conditions are decided by the sensors guys based on the based on where the sensors will fall that is on the black surface or uh, the black line or the white surface so the first the first condition is your when both the sensors are low that means both are on the black surface so if both are on the black surface the condition which is given there for uh, the four pins that is 8 9 10 11 is low 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 and low that is your pin number 8 is low your pin number 9 is low your 10 is low and your 11 is low that means your motor will stop working it won't run now we'll see the second condition here the second condition is that your if your left sensor is on black line and your right sensor is on white surface so for that the signal for the motors is high low 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 that means your pin number 8 and 9 will be on the left hand side so that means if your left sensor detects something your motor will turn on the right side so that is how the pin number 8 9 are high low and pin number 10 and 11 are low now the third condition guys here is when your left sensor is high and light, right sensor is low so in this case we will just make the above condition opposite 
दैट इज पिन नंबर एट एंड नाइन शुड बी लो लो एंड पिन नंबर टेन एंड इलेवन शुड बी हाई लो now uh, writing as pin number 10 is high and pin number 11 is low we are giving the command to the left hand side motor so that your right sensor when the right sensor falls on the black surface your motor should turn on the left hand side and now the last condition that when both the sensors are on white surface that is your left sensor is high and also your right sensor is high so for that the condition will be as follows digital write in the bracket pin number 8 comma high digital write pin number 9 comma low and also your pin number 10 will be high and pin number 11 will be low because you have to run your motor in the forward direction that means when both the sensor are high your motor will go in the forward direction and when both the sensor are on black then your motor will be not moving anywhere so it will stop and uh, all the semicolons after the statements are the full stop okay guys so now we have seen how to write a program in our arduino software now we'll see how to upload that program in your arduino board so for that we have to select the tools option that is on the left hand side on top go to tools then we'll see board so for that you have to select the arduino geno arduino uno board sorry genuino or arduino uno board so after selecting the board then you have to select the port remember guys you will get that port option once and only after you connect the arduino board to the pc or the laptop using the usb cable so first you have to connect the board to the pc or the laptop then you'll see that port option there so for that after the port is detected detected you have to select the port in the same option that is the tools option so once you select the port that means your connection between the communication between the arduino uno and the laptop or pc has been established so after that you have to it will uh, directly automate you to the saving option so you have to type the name the required file name it may, it can be anything based on your preferences so once you have done that then you have to click on the right tick mark button that is on the left hand side so once you press that button it will start compiling compiling means it will verify whether the code is correct or wrong and it will show you the mistakes so once it is done you have to press the upload button which is next to it so once you press that button you'll see on the left hand side it is saying that done uploading so after that done uploading means your code has been successfully put in your arduino uno board so after that you can disconnect the board from the usb cable